And what was, did you know Errol Slew at all? Did you know? Oh him? yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Now yeah. there, um, I met Errol, John Giuliani, mm -hmm. in 1970. There was a play written by Peter Deber, mm -hmm. who was a CBC reporter. It's the only play he ever wrote. Mm -hmm. There was this famous, uh, infamous Sir George Williams University episode. Mm -hmm. And he wrote a play about that. So let's talk about the episode. So uh, from what I understand, um, it was a university in Montreal. Yeah. Right? And uh, students, <laughs> many friends, people I know, mm -hmm. occupied it because mm -hmm. Another guy who went to school with me, a junior to me in school in St. Vincent, mm -hmm. was victimized because supposedly, mm -hmm. I knew for sure he was black. Mm -hmm. He would write his papers and another white guy was ch chumming that he would give his guy his information, give him his papers. The guy would get passing grades, great grades, and mm -hmm. this guy would be failed. Right. You know, stuff like that was happening. Mm -hmm. And you heard there was there were turned courts and you know all sorts of stuff happening. Anyway, they would go in and have these sit-ins where this guy would you'd, you'd go for eight hours and then a shift. Another set of people would come in and whatnot. So those sit-ins were in protest. Yes, were right, in protest. Right. It, it grew into a big thing because they wanted this guy fired mm -hmm. and other people. And there was so finally the 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 computer room was trashed. In those days, you didn't have it like that. <laughs> you didn't you had the cards. Them. Right. Yeah. Right? So the cards, all the information was, the data was in the cards. Mm -hmm. Just, you see these things coming down like snow mm -hmm. <laughs> from yeah. the room and all that. And right, right. Somebody lit a fire in one of the room. They found out, they thought that there was a guy who was working from the American side who was one of the people doing this stuff. Right. Huh. Eventually, uh, Rosie Douglas, he was one of the political leaders. Mm -hmm. He ran away, he didn't stay. Ann Coles, who's now a senator. Mm -hmm. And another person, a, a French-Canadian young lady, they both serve right. six months or something like that. Right. But it, it shows you, after that, she mm -hmm. was uh, welcomed into the Liberal Party mm -hmm. and became a star in the Liberal Party. Yep. Mm -hmm. That tells you something, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, it does. So you were, and you were in a play about this incident. That's c Peter Deborah wrote this play. Right. And John Giuliani called me and asked me if I'd do something because it was at the Centre in Montreal. Right. Morris Podbury ha headed the, the Centre, and he taught me at the National Theatre School. Too. Right. So I said, well, it would be a good time to move back out east. Mm -hmm. Right. So I said yes, and so my wife came to Toronto with my son daughter and I went to Montreal mm -hmm. to do the play. It was a great success. I mean like uh, Anne Cools and the other young lady came to see it and they really liked it mm -hmm. because it represented uh, a lot of the, 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 the thoughts and, and reasons that brought forth this episode and, and mm -hmm. And the, the the way it was debated, because it turns out it was like you're going to school, yeah. right? right? And you you show up and people somebody's playing a guitar, mm -hmm. like we walk. The, the play starts at uh, say eight o'clock. We walk on stage. We begin filtering on at seven thirty, right? Mm -hmm. So it was like what you used to call a happening, right? So okay. and then you start talking. Somebody playing a guitar and whatnot. And so by the time eight o'clock, we're getting into the play. Mm -hmm. Meantime, people are coming in, of course. Mm -hmm. They were getting into the play, and they eased into it. By the end of the first act, mm -hmm. there's, we started, there was this big argument, and, and people in the play are participating <laughs> in the argument. Right. It was fabulous. Okay. Alan Scarf, there was one part of it, uh, it, it goes, uh, the center cannot hold, and he was like a dummy in swaddling clothes and so on, trying to break free. Alan, don't know if you know Alan, great actor, mm. white guy. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the center cannot hold, and it was a, a great Bertrand Russell uh, expression. Yeah, th th there was a, a whole 
passage from a Bertrand Russell philosophy. Mm. One of his, his pamphlets or something that was put in there. Hmm. But it was very good, ex it was very good. Right. That was a very good experience. Mm -hmm. I've had some great experiences. In the John, tell, tell me about working with John. What's he like as a director? John was an actor. Okay. He was at theater school before, one of the early ones. Mm -hmm. Went to Stratford, but he was very handsome mm -hmm. and very serious. And he did not like the pretty boy image. Hmm. I'm told, you know, so he he felt that was not what it should be about. Hmm. It should be about the peace and what it is. So he didn't like the sugar coating of that right. stuff. Right. So he liked the actors who could get into the stuff and and you know you bear your soul hmm. and you know instead of being facile and just on, on the surface of things. Uh, and he was a very nice man. I mean, like <laughs> his wedding, <laughs> I went to his wedding, Donna Wong, part of it was doing a theatrical piece mm -hmm. in the art gallery. Hmm. <laughs> and then probably about you know, going from birth to death and stuff. <laughs> that was his wedding? Yeah, part of it, yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Donna, Donna Wong, his, he, he was from Montreal, his father was well situated, I think he was um, uh, had something to do with the stock exchange and stuff like right. that. So, yeah. uh, okay. John was a very nice guy. I've worked with some very nice people. I mean, you know, you should never say anything about or, or let other people dissuade you from being nice or accommodating or friendly with other people mm -hmm. because they may put their own interpretation on somebody's deal. They may try to. Uh, put their in own thoughts and get into them in in a way that's uh, abusive sometimes. Mm -hmm. 